What's going on? James Bond is here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what I think is a fantastic process for onboarding, whether it be a coaching student or uh, a SMMA client, agency client, any anybody that needs to sign a contract, uh, especially a digital contract. This process now can remove HelloSign, uh, all the other online uh, contract softwares, right? Just another, just another example of Go High Level help when you get rid of a monthly payment. Now, prior, and by the way, this isn't um, built really into Go High Level. Uh, this is kind of a workaround. And I found this process uh, when I hired, I, I've hired a, a guy, right? Who's really good in Go High Level. He does a lot of work for me. And he brought me through this process. And mind you, I'm, I, I, for my coaching business, I'm signing what a thousand contracts a year, right? Uh, for my agency, you know, it's dozens, uh, but most of them are knee to knee, right? I do a lot of meetups. Um, I will, you know, most of my clients are local. And so, um, I typically don't ha have this problem in my agency, but I do know a lot of other agency owners that do in addition, in addition, this process can be sold to your clients. What do you mean, James? Well, if you have a contractor that sends out um, contracts, an HVAC guy, a plumber, somebody who wants, who, anybody that uh, has contracts, well, now this is just another add-on, right? It's, uh, it's the whole, you know, services, automation, right? It's just another piece of the social media marketing agency, not just, uh, this is why the SMMA term always bothered me because yes, it's, it's what people search and it's what, you know, um, the typical gurus are going to uh, talk about and, and including me because it's, it's a buzzword. Okay. But theoretically, right. You're a marketing agency, right? You're not a social media, mar you're not, not only so you are, you are in everything. Okay. And automations is one of the things that is in your toolbox. Okay. Especially with go high level. And so this process is awesome. Um, I, if you're in my free resource, uh, school members area, I've posted like a list of the next 10 videos that I'm doing. And this was video number two, uh, and I needed to get this out. I'm not done with it yet. And in true transparency, I didn't build this myself. I'm editing it to fit my business. And, uh, and so I can't give this away, okay? Uh, he watches my channel also. So if you're watching, what's up, man? Uh, however, I will talk to him about possibly um, selling it to my audience. I don't even care uh, about getting anything from it, but I think that a lot of people uh, could utilize this, okay? Uh, and so let me bring you through the process, try to follow it. And to be honest with you, maybe you can piece it together and uh, figure it out, right? I mean, essentially, really, it's only a funnel um, with a lot of custom values. And I'm sure there's a lot more to it as, as well. But a big problem with Go High Level is they don't have that signing piece, right? Uh, and when I say that, like, they don't have it, yes, you can, you know, in my coaching business, this is what all our students sign. It's it's through Go High Level, it's a document, um, but it's really a web page, right? And they're signing on the web page, and it looks like this after they sign uh, over here. Like we get their initials and we get their signature, but it's not like a PDF, right? Or it's not like emailed to them in the right, uh, in in the proper format. And I've looked everywhere on how to get that done, and I found it. Okay, and so this is going to be part one of a video. Okay, I'm going to release part two of this, and part two will be like a, a complete walkthrough of the done version, but I needed to get this out because if anybody is struggling out there uh, with the whole contract thing and onboarding, this is a great process and maybe you could jump and figure it out yourself, okay? And so this would be the contact creation, right? Client, con so we're gonna give them our name, our email, uh, let's say the retainer price is $1,000 and the start date is today, right? And the client name is whatever, LMV. We can send a payment link, right? If you want to collect payments and go high level, you could easily do it, you create the product, and now we can send a payment link, all right? Payment link is going to be created by the price that we put in here, and this is all just done on a form, 
okay? When we hit send payment link, it will get emailed to them, but on the very next page, it's gonna come to their service agreement, okay? And so I'm I'm making this fit the, the, the piece of the puzzle that I have in my coaching business, but it doesn't matter. It could be agency, it could be anything, all right? I don't need to repeat that. And so it, the three-step process will be client contract, their onboarding steps, and then their onboarding call, okay? And so this, what I'm building is that this form will be built to auto-populate this contract, okay? And the way it's gonna be doing that is each one of these forms is going to populate into a custom uh, value, okay? Let me, let me reword that because it is also a custom field, okay? Um, and so it's gonna be a custom field as well, okay? And remember, the custom value is a predetermined value, okay? A predetermined value, and a custom field is going to populate the value that is put into the form. So these are custom fields that we're building into the form, not custom values, custom fields, okay? Don't forget that, because it took me a while to understand the difference, okay? And so when they fill it, again, this will be a bigger form, when they fill all this out, all the information will be populated here, member name, phone number, address, what their payments are, their installments, all that good stuff, okay? It'll be all on here, right? And then they'll read through it, and they'll be okay with it, and then they can sign, put their name in, and hit submit. When they hit submit, okay, um, it'll say welcome, let's get started, right? And now we're gonna start, they're gonna put in their email and they're gonna go and hit start onboarding, okay? I may remove this step and just put it here. This step is here to keep track of what they've done, okay? I may remove this because I think it's, once they sign, right, I'll know that they signed and then they can go right into this in, right into here, right? Get a logo up there. Uh, so again, editing up these, uh, this would be client agreement. Now they're on their onboarding steps, okay? And so they'll click the down and hit step one. Please check your email for these. Step two, click to access our Facebook group. Step three, bookmark this page. And then uh, when you come to step, step four, you would now need to schedule your onboarding call, okay? Make sure you've completed steps one to three before proceeding, and when they click this, they're gonna come to the calendar. Oops, I can just do it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna click that out to a separate tab, uh, and then they can click and schedule their onboarding call. Now, the process that I have now is like trigger, like right now, like trigger links are going, and um, like there's a lot of moving parts. The our coaches who are taking the calls. They're the ones really doing all of the manual labor that this now can replace, okay? And for our guys on the phone, when they when they make phone calls, this is the piece of the pie that they, like, it frustrates them, okay? Uh, and so once they do that, like, the hard part is done, and then it comes to this, onboarding is complete, make sure you show up to your Zoom call, okay? The best part about this is instead of now, just show you really quick, instead of now, having a contract like this, laid out like this, right? It will now be laid out like this, okay? This isn't the same contract, this is the original one, but just to show you, like, signature and there's their contract, right in their email and we get a copy of it. I could filter it and put it all into, you know, student contracts and they'll all just go right into that, into that folder and, uh, and then they actually have the contract, right? Uh, typically, um, for us, we'll screenshot it, right, after signature. I mean, you can imagine it's not the best thing in the world, okay? And so that is the process, right? So send an invoice, they pay, they sign the contract, they get started, they go through the steps of whatever it is that you want to do, right? I'm going to get rid of a kickoff form. Uh, it's going to go straight to the onboarding call. They go through their four steps, blah, 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 blah. They click, they schedule the onboarding call, and we're done. Right? You can create that for whatever it is that you need. And then when you create it for yourself, you can now package it up and add it, at, uh, add it to as a service for automation, uh, help your clients. You know, you can, I'm telling you right now, this process and to build it into Go High Level, you, once you do it once, you now have a snapshot of it. You can now sell this to clients easily for autom like contract automation, CRM, for two, 
$2,000 setup, and then you package it into the services. You guys know my thoughts. You can watch this video here on, on the whole selling SaaS, right? We, we don't sell software as, a, as an agency. You may think that you do, and there may be a lot of people that do, but uh, and I see the trend and I, and I understand it, right? Look at the, the number one affiliates, right? They are selling the dream of s being able to easily sell SaaS to local businesses, right? So now everybody wants to do it, but they don't really talk about how a local business doesn't really care about software. They care about what it does for you, what service it could provide. Does it bring me more customers? Does it save me time? Um, you know, does it increase my R ROI? If you don't talk to your clients based on the services that you provide and you try to sell them the shininess of a software, you will lose them right away. It's a fact. People cancel software, okay? They don't cancel services that get them more leads and customers. I want you to think about that. People cancel software. It's the first thing that they cancel. They do not cancel the services that provide them an ROI in their, in their business. They do not. Okay. They don't. The only time they do is when they find maybe somebody cheaper and then they go and I can't tell you how many times, you know, you get a business leave you and then they come back. Right. Uh, and so I thought this process was really cool. I wanted to get it out fast. I know it's not completely done yet. Uh, like subscribe, turn on the notifications so I can notify you or YouTube will notify you uh, when the next video comes. Um, maybe the next video will be the complete walkthrough of this. Uh, maybe not, I'm not sure, but always keep an eye on my channel. And again, the only way to do that is turning the notifications on and subscribing. All right, hope this was helpful. Give me the comments down below and let me know what you think of this. Uh, you'll probably have questions and you, you're more than welcome to ask the questions down below and I'll answer them as I get the answers, uh, as I'm building this out and learning. Uh, but I love this. This is amazing. And it's just going to make your business look professional, efficient, and fast. I found this. Remember this. I found this and paid for it, right? Paid for like, you didn't give it to me for free. I paid for it because it solved the problem in my business, but I only saw it because he used it in his business, right? So a lot of times you will get, you will get upsells and be able to charge more money based on your processes that your clients see that you're doing and say, hey, I would love to have this too, right? See you on the next one. Hope this helped. Talk soon. Peace out.